It's Wes, welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how I create portraits with off-camera flash when I don't have a light stand. There's not just one right way to do this, so I'm gonna show you a few options, and hopefully you learn something and you see me at work in the environment. We're somewhere, yeah. When would ever this be a scenario? Yeah. There you go, Pablo was asking that. And let's say you just uh, have to hike somewhere and you figure it's a very quick portrait session and you don't bring your light stand, but you got a diffuser, you got a light, you got a trigger and you got your camera. So I'm gonna show you how I would approach and how I have approached using handheld flash with an off-camera situation. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, today, I was thinking about what could be helpful. A lot of people are interested in the Godox videos I have on my channel where I show how to pair your flash, um, but I've never really talked through how I approach off-camera flash, and I thought, you know what's something I do in a jam is I do portraits with off-camera flash when I don't have a light stand. More of a run and gun portrait session, so I thought I'd show you a few different ways that you can approach this. So all you need is a trigger, a flash, or a strobe, and um, some creativity. All right, so let's get into it. Scouting around, uh, and so the location matters when you're gonna do a portrait, obviously. So I have uh, the sun behind me, and I'm gonna get my subject over here around the corner, and he's gonna be uh, backlit using the sun as the backlight, and I'm gonna use the strobe to light up the front of him. And so I have this area over here, kind of there's some trees around the corner, and there's just a little bit of this ivy covered wall that I'm used to help frame that composition. Um, but the thing is, I'm gonna have to shoot a pretty wide lens, and that's gonna be a theme because if you're hand held holding your strobe, you have to be, you know, within a uh, distance where that light's gonna reach your subject. And so if you have something like an 85 millimeter, it's gonna put a, a lot of strain on getting that, um, the, your subject to fit in range and the light to reach your subject. All right, so I got Pablo down here. He's gonna be my model. And uh, very quickly, we're gonna do just a little session. There's Pablo waving. I'm gonna be over here, shooting him against the backlight of the sun. And I'm gonna be hand hold, holding the flash. So we're gonna have flash in the frame here. I happen to have a diffuser. Pablo, I'm gonna give him instructions on how to, uh, how to pose, but right now I'm just gonna get him in front of, in front of this mighty light called the sun over here. So Pablo, just come and stand like right at the tip of that shadow right there. Yep. I'm shooting pretty wide, I got the 35 on, and I'm just gonna hold the camera like that, light like that, and see what happens. So Pablo's there, my camera, has eye detect, it's already detecting his face, so the work is done for me there. I'm gonna go a little bit wider here, if possible. There we go, now we see Pablo in the picture. Hey, everybody. Yeah, so right here, getting it on his face, and that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna try to get his face right in front of the sun. So you notice, I'm trying to separate the light source from the camera. So let's just scoot over a little bit here. Come this way, like right on the corner of that manhole. And so I've been shooting vertically because it's a portrait and I just want to get more of a headshot. So I'm going to try to get this up higher now and get more of a downward angle, more of a pleasing angle of light uh, to create a little shadow under the jaw. That's pretty dope. But you'll notice with my hands full, I have to work very carefully on centering the portrait. So what I'm gonna do is back up the camera a little bit. So I'm putting my light hand forward and camera hand back a little bit, center it so I can crop in if needed. And there we got a really nice portrait with a little bit of Rembrandt lighting. Nice. That's not bad. Can I get in the bushes? Yeah, you wanna get in the bushes over here? <laughs> yeah. How you doing? It's good cool. stuff. All right, actually come right here and yeah. put the shoulder up against the, the bush. Portrait oh. photographer always has to do hair and makeup and yeah. wardrobe. We yeah. got some leaves. Uh, got in the there we go. This is a really nice look. Don't lean too much, more straight up and down. And um, just remember to always keep talking to your subjects and make them feel comfortable, like you're in control, you know what you're doing. We get the lens flare, the sun flare, right on the top of his head. And I, I see, I might have to bring that down just a little bit right there. 
I'm pretty happy with the lighting, but I, it could, the, so the challenge here is I want to get a pleasing downward angle with the camera, but the light source is up behind him. So I'm just going to have to go for the more pleasing angle. So I'm going to go up here, uh, up high with the camera going shooting down and then uh, more of a 45 degree angle down. Follow great expression right there. You're natural. Oh, that's right. That's great. Okay. Now put both weight equally on both feet and face them straight towards me. This is a soldier's pose. If I ever seen one, there we go. Boom. Nice. Oh, we got, that's a dope shot. That's good. Nice. Nice. All right. So this guy. that's where, <laughs> so that's one situation where you have um, a flash in your hand, the trigger on your camera. I'm trying to think if there's one last scenario where if you don't have a light stand, oh, bouncing the light. So we're gonna do this with the, um, the not the 80 to 200, but we're gonna bounce the light using uh, the, the V860 flash because it's got a bounce card and all that. Let's go down the way. All right, so here we got a nice blank light colored wall behind me. I'm gonna use that to bounce the light off of. Pablo's here waiting to see what my next move is to get a portrait of him with off camera flash without my light stand. So here I have the V860, I'm gonna power that on. Again, you just gotta make sure you're in ETTTL mode with the Wi-Fi signal on. It'd be red light, yeah, it's red light, here we go. And now I'm gonna bounce this off the wall behind me and I'm gonna shoot that way. Light this way, camera that way, bouncing it off. Uh, this is our first test. Bounce the old flash off the wall behind me, shooting at Pablo, um, pretty dark, pretty dark. So I got to crank up these settings. So it's an ETTL, so actually I'm, I'm going to go into manual mode. So now I can just manipulate it. I'm going to put it one over two power, three, two, one. So this is at F3.2 and the light is very, very dark, but my ice was at hundred. So I'm just going to bump that up to 400 and camera close to Pablo, smile a little bit. There it is. <laughs> uh, and that's a, that's good. He's, he's got some low energy, so we got to pump him up. Um, actually, put your back here, like lean up against this, like you, 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 you playa. Yeah, there we go. And so now I'm shooting. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I'm gonna bounce this off the wall behind me, and there we go. That's some nice light. Bounce it off behind me. I might even do this and just bounce it off the bounce card. Um, now my camera's in the uh, my camera's actually the camera I'm filming on is actually in the background, so that's not ideal. Uh, but we're going to do one more right here. I'm going to put Pablo in front of the uh, camera blocking it. And uh, that's nice. Now turn and look Pablo's eyes at me just like, dang, I'm a good looking guy. What? This guy. George Clooney who? Actually, I like uh, the lights a little cold, so I'm going to brighten it up one over one and a little downward angle. Boom. There we go. And that's my secrets for uh, nice. off camera flash when you don't have a light stand. I shoot like this a lot of times at events. I just separate the light and go around the crowd and get some nice soft off camera flash. It's better to me if you have a diffuser, the bounce card um, is a little bit harsher, but you can bounce off the ceiling here. There's no ceiling, so I'm using the wall or just the bounce card. Um, the end, thanks for joining. Uh, I think that's it. Um, so like and subscribe. Uh, somebody told me a recent uh, video. They said, don't, uh, <laughs> don't ask people to subscribe before you give them the value. Yeah, that's good. That's good feedback. Uh, but also I tend to forget to ask people to subscribe. And so, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you got anything out of this. Subscribe, Follow. subscribe, like it, leave a message like, down oh, below. Oh, and go over to Pablo's channel. He helps me out a lot. We did a collab on an event photography uh event photography um video video we did a collab uh, yeah tips so, on event photography yeah. and then what's a, a couple of the last two videos you've done uh last couple is uh yesterday i put one out on shooting the eos r with a vintage lens takamar, so right? yeah takamar lens uh, I think Wes makes fun of me a little bit about that name, but it's a good name. I mean, it's just a funny name. That's all. He's not, he's not. Yeah, yeah. So I have that one out and then. Um, you took pictures at the beach, I saw. I took pictures at, at the beach, it both at a garden and then on, on the beach. So yeah. yeah, check that out if you can. And then I did one. Uh, tell them about the, the one where you go through all the menus. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the orange menu. Seriously, I learned a ton. <laughs> so obviously I can't go over the whole thing here, but I went <laughs> over the whole orange menu in the Canon EOS R. So if you have that camera, it's a good way to start mastering the Canon EOS R. So those are my yeah. last two videos. So thanks, yeah, Wes. Yeah, and he just walks in depth through. Did you know the red menu is called the shoot menu? I did. Yeah, <laughs> he, he did. He taught the me red that. Red menu, shoot <laughs> menu. <laughs> so go check him out, and thanks for joining us. Peace.